Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have some new pre-mixed pouring paint to try out. This is Master's Touch. Um, thus far, I've tried Artist Loft, I've tried Deco Art, I've tried Folk Art, I've tried Arteza. So this is just a brand new one. And this is a kit I got. It is $39.99, but I used a coupon. So it was like 25 bucks or something. Comes with seven basic colors, two metallic colors, 12 stir sticks, 10 disposable cups, one drop cloth, one pair of gloves, one how-to pamphlet, and a cell medium. So with nine paints, two ounces each, um, that's enough to do at least three, basically three of these eight by 10 canvases. And so I'm gonna be doing three experiments with these paints coming up. And first, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the kit and be right back. All right, so I've got everything ready. I do find it interesting that in this kit, there are three blues, um, no yellow, no orange. So it is primarily cool colors, which works for me because I like cool colors. So for this first video, trying out these paints, um, I'm gonna just do a basic flip cup with no cell medium. And I'm gonna just use cool colors for the next one. I'll use warm colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all of these blues and silver in this one. Now, if you've tried out these paints before, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what you thought of them. And otherwise we'll see what results I get. I am planning for this one, like I said, just a simple flip cup, no cell medium or anything. For the next one, I plan on doing a flip cup with that cell medium added. And then for the last one, I will try a tree ring, I think. Okay. So I'm going to use silver in this. The three colors I'm not using are the red, the, the black, and the gold. All right. That should be enough paint. I'm going to go back, I think, with just a little bit more of this turquoise. Whoa! <laughs> well, that didn't work. I didn't fully remove the lid. Well, anyways. <laughs> oh, the joys of painting. Okay. So let's go ahead and flip cut this. Now, I do like to let the cup sit for a minute and this is my low leaf fa silicone bowl by the way so i'm gonna let this sit for a minute so that all the colors have time to sink that's why i put white on the bottom the white's the heaviest so it'll sink and should help create some reactions theoretically so we'll be right back okay we're back here we go So what I like to look for when trying the new paints is the consistency of them. If we're able to get cells without adding anything, how bright the colors are. Now I use a lot of the lighter colors in here, but still. Okay, there's, oh my goodness, Marcy. <laughs> Part of the lid in one of those, okay. So, this is pretty, but definitely not a lot of reactions. It's, it's fairly basic. So let's go ahead. We're going to let this sit for a little while, and I want to see if anything develops on its own. But a lot of the pre-mixed paints, I've found that you absolutely need something like that cell medium that they have in order to cause the reactions. Otherwise, they don't. But that does usually make them good for tree rings. So let's just let this sit and then we'll be back. All right, we're back. I don't really see any change occurring. I do think I'm going to try torching this real quick. I don't really see many air bubbles in here, but it might cause some reaction. Okay, not really. So there you go. Um, it's still pretty. Nice, delicate, smooth background. So if you don't like cells, this is pretty great probably. Uh, let's go ahead and do a close up. So lower right hand corner. We do have some little reactions in there, but really not a lot. 
I think that this will look super pretty on the tree ring when I do that video. There you go. My first experiment with this paint. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried it before and stay tuned please for the next experiment which will be a flip cup with that cell activator. All right, thanks for watching.